go ahead and pull them both up at the same time. Get your cup maybe halfway up in the air. And just give it kind of a tap. Make sure you can knock off any loose soil and maybe stuff to the bottom of the cup. Go ahead. We're just going to get set that in there for now. Get that right where it is again. Try to hold that upright in case there's any soil still left on it. You don't want to make a mess. Okay, so now we're going to come back over here. We're just going to set our cup. Set in a hole about halfway. Again, maybe give it a few taps. Take a rag. Just wipe down the inside of your cup. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is we use the Everwhite cup. Um, these are nice because you can actually change change these liners out. Um, these are just a plastic insert. It's like Everwhite. You can obviously, that's the, the name of them. You can continuously keep them white. Um, you can replace these plastic inserts without having to replace your cup. Gently put that in the ground there. Now we're going to take our cup setter. We're going to put that in two different directions. We're going to have, you know, we want to do it offset it by about 180 degrees, 90 degrees, I'm sorry. We're just going to go ahead and push that down. We can give it a few taps in both directions. Be square. If it's off just a little bit, you'll be able to kind of manipulate it. So you notice I'm not really pulling on this too hard. We just want to gently get it into the ground. Make sure that we pull that up. We're pulling that straight up. We don't want to, again, impact the integrity of the edge of that hole. Okay, so last but not least here, we want to put our pin in. And you'll notice, if you listen real close, you'll hear, once this, the ferrule of that flag stick starts to actually make contact with the metal of that cup. But what we're doing here is we're just trying to knock down any soil that may be left in the bottom of that cup. Can you hear that difference there in the sound? That's what we're looking for. That will that'll avoid making a mess uh, inside the cup. And also avoid when a golfer goes to pull that cup out or that pin out, he doesn't bring the cup right with it. So li listen for that sound. And then also keep in mind as we're putting our pin in from a, a strategic standpoint, if we do, if we happen to be doing this in the middle of play, we certainly don't want to put that pin in while we still have to mend our cup over there. So if you have golfers that, that may be coming up near their, their shots towards the green, make sure you leave that out so they don't feel like they have the green light to go ahead and start hitting the ball while you're still working on the cup. Here, Research Farm, we haven't had golfers all summer, so we're pretty lucky. We're going to leave that pin right there. Again, you'll notice you want to make sure it's fitting straight from two different directions. Um, and that looks pretty straight to me, so we're going to leave that. If that were off just a little bit, you might be able to get away with just kind of tweaking your cup a little bit. You don't want to rely on that. You want to rely on actual setting the cup. When you're cutting that cup, make sure you're good and straight. So there, we just want to go ahead and make sure our cup is still good and round. It's a nice, clean, crisp edge. And then, go ahead and wipe the flags and down. Remove any of your fingerprints or any of your debris you may have left behind if you're at the golf course where you actually change flags for red, white, and blue, or maybe an event where you're changing your flags. Now would be the time to go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so our pin is set, or our cup is set over there. Now the most, the most important part is probably what we're about to do right here, the actual mending of the plug. Um, we want to go ahead, make sure we get this back down as far as it'll go. Um, you'll be able to tell from this point if you're going to be high or low. And if you're high, uh, you can go ahead and remove your plug. Remove some soil from the bottom of your plug. If it's low, you can go ahead and take some of your soil from your little soil bin here and go ahead and backfill it. Um, we're pretty good. If, if you have the same individual 